Usually all chemical reactions are carried out in chemical reactors. One of the examples of laboratory reactor is presented over here. Once the procedure is developed and the product has to go to the industrial scale, much bigger reactors, up to a few cubic meters, usually are used. But for certain type of the reaction, especially those who present the danger of explosion or a big heat release, this is not a straightforward thing. So for these particular reactions, we present and developed so-called microreactors. And in this project, it was used for the production of perfumery. Here it is the example of a microreactor, which is designed as a five microchannels put in parallel. Internal diameter is around few hundred microns. This device has two inlets where the reacting compounds are supplied and two outlets where the product is permanently generated. So this is the open flow reactor and in order to match the volumes which are usually produced by industrial reactors of the few cubic meters, one can imagine to put these devices in parallel up to 100 or few thousand, depending on the volume which is needed to be produced by the industry. Advantages of micro reactor over conventional reactor comes from its continuous operation and also from its size. The first advantage is if there is an accident due to heat production uh, during the reaction, the impact in the case of micro reactors will be relatively lower compared to the conventional reactor. The second advantage is in terms of mixing of the reacting components in microstructure reactor. Due to low volume, it is relatively easy to mix two components compared to the conventional reactor. In addition to this, in the case of supply or removal of heat that is required for the reaction, it is relatively easy in micro reactor compared to the conventional reactor. And this leads to the third advantage of reproducible uh, and high product quality.